Okay, hi everybody and welcome back to part three of this respray vlog. And we're gonna to start today's video where I ended the last one talking about the rust problems behind the windscreen and the hatchback. If you remember, we had on this top right hand side A pillar, some rust creeping underneath the windscreen. So that had to come out. And on the back, just underneath the rear wiper, there's that rust line creeping along there. So that had to come out. Anyway, I've got a telephone number from um, a friend of mine who, you know, who knows a private guy that does the windows. And I called him up and to take the windows out and then come back at a later date and replace them, um, it's just under 300 quid with the VAT. But what can I do? It has to be done. The rust has leaked underneath pillars and hatchbacks, so it's they've got to come out. I'm not going to cut corners here. Um, so I thought to cheer myself up a little bit, why don't I ask the guy if he can get hold of a top tin? Now, top tins used to be a really big thing when I was a young man, and I love it. It's just a natural tint that's in the top of the glass that acts as a kind of a visor and it's really nice and I thought you know what let me cheer myself up a little bit add about 25 pounds of the cost and you know we'll put a top tin I mean it killed me to find pictures on Google uh, with one of these with a natural top tin but anyway let me shut up and we'll go down and I'll show you the car I think these windows definitely needed to come out. Let's start from the back. It's a bit different. You primed the arches, isn't it? Oh, did you see it? Yeah. Right. This is the this is the worst bit, isn't it, Art? This is the worst bit. Yep. You see the water? It's just like. It was getting through up there somewhere. Can you see it's not? The rust came up here. Is that, do you reckon it was seeping? No, no it wasn't it, because it's too high. Yeah, it's you coming know. in and just sitting yeah, flat exactly. and yeah. then that's what's happening. And on this top bit, there isn't any. No, it's, it's fine. Yeah, that's all clean. Even it, on the side. It's... This is the worst bit, Arton, that I can find. Yeah, I think I think that was the best bit by removing the but screen. But we we had to. It's come down. No, no, you had to remove that so we can cure rusted and, and cure it probably there. Right, this is this is what a lupo looks like. What with no green screen, no front. As well. Are you going to take some? Yeah, in? just so we can get a nice finish on the wing. Right, but that was £145 just to have the windscreen removed and the back window removed. And we've saved the back window, which is what I wanted, because it, that I've tinted that, so there's money been spent on it. That's also new from the time that it was replaced earlier this year. Yeah, don't panic. Have you seen, don't panic. Have you seen the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Or you, you probably don't know about that. Do you? <laughs> or read the book. Right. Uh, this is the driver's side.
All right, so really the only difference, you prime at the arches and the, and the bonnet. Uh, the bonnet are, 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 I mean, bonnet and the two bumpers are, you see they're almost ready to paint. We're just gonna tunnel the white bit and uh, mask right. everything yeah. where it needs. And it's very clean, you see all the stone chips gone. Yeah, it's gonna, no, yeah, I know your work, it's going to be nice, mate. It is, it's taking time, just be patient and uh, let's get in there. Explain to me why it's black primer. Uh, black primer because this blue, raven blue, right. when you mix the colour, it tells you what primer is underneath. Yeah. What the base should oh, be, so it okay. covers quick. That white primer never, never, never covers, because it's a, it's a blue bird. Okay. You should have the primer, the computer tells you. It's on that. Can you see there? It's original black on that. Okay. And that, on top of this uh, thing, we're going to shoot black base first before we apply the pearl. Okay. You understand? Yeah. No? Now I understand. Because it covers quick. Otherwise, you'd be putting 10 coats there and it would be transparent. Okay. You got it? I've got it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Okay folks, that's this video over and done with and I want to take this opportunity to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. We'll be back a few days after Boxing Day I guess when Arton's back into the swing of things uh, with some more videos on the Little Lupo um, and that's it, yeah. So get drunk, do what you got to do, enjoy your Christmas and I'll see you soon. Take care.